I'm in central London where Israeli company ELS has just unveiled their latest handset. It's a new phone that runs on the Linux operating system. Let's go have a word with the chief executive. ELS is the outcome of almost five years of uh, hard work. And we came up with several problems that are in the mobile market today. Things that need to be resolved, such as um, phones are still the center of those devices, meaning if you get an incoming call to any one of um, today's devices, it will stop what you're doing and the phone will start ringing. If you're shooting a video and you get an incoming call, it will stop the video and the phone will start ringing because it's a phone. We're shifting away from that into application-centric approach. Once you use our device, the device will become the application. Meaning if you're using a camera, you'll get a camera experience. If you're using the player, music player, you get a real music player experience. And that's the difference. We're no longer phone, it's just another one of the applications. The first ELS comes with pre-integrated apps like GPS and live RSS feeds, but the phone will also launch with its own app store and SDK. When the device will come to the market, we will have an application store as well. We are building an SDK. Unlike our competitors that need the application store in order to have an appealing device, our device is appealing enough. The phone will come equipped with a full media store to rival Apple's iTunes, where users can purchase apps through a billing agreement with the operator rather than a credit card or PayPal. But the first else also has some other key differentiators that make it stand apart from the growing list of iPhone copycats. Apple is still phone-centric. It's a phone. It's the iPhone. We're not a phone. We're a, we're a multi-purpose device. We are bringing single-hand operation. Apple is two-hand two to operate. Our interaction, this display fan that brings you to wherever you want, in less than one click you can make a call, you can send a message, you can open your calendar. Everything is, is, is there, it's so simple to use. The first ELSE runs on a Linux-based OS called ELSE Intuition. So why did they choose that platform over Java, Symbian, or even Android? Before we started developing, we searched all available platforms that were out there in the market. We had, you saw our crazy uh, user experience and graphical experience we're bringing to our users. And we looked for a flexible platform that will, that will enable us to deliver our user experience and vision. And the only operating system that really gave us this flexibility is Linux. All the rest are too old. They're carrying legacies. It's, it's almost impossible to work with them and really bring something new, something innovative to the user based on them. When we did the build-up, um, Android was not there yet. Even if we'll use Android, it will look, at the end of the day, like this. Same look and feel, same graphical, same user experience, even if it will be running on um, Android, still, we will bring the same experience. The ELSE will be available in Russia, Western Europe and the United States by the second half of next year. Thanks for watching. I'm Leila Mackey reporting in London for Telecom TV.